Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a happy Thursday. We have a rainy day this morning. Yes, yes, yes. April showers bring the May flowers, right? <laughs> no, I'm excited that it's raining because we do need the rain. And, you know, I was so happy yesterday to see um, a couple of my daffodils finally <laughs> blooming. And then my neighbor has like a whole like garden, you know, like he has a whole side of his house that's filled with like daffodils already. <laughs> and then I have my two, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see the flowers starting to bloom. And that's why, you know, God wanted me to talk to you guys about new creation. Yes. New life, right? Spring brings new life to us, doesn't it guys? Yes, it does. Well, I hope that you are having a great start of your morning. I hope you have your cup of coffee to have with me or your cup of tea or any anything that you would like to drink that is of, of um, your desire. I am having a cup of coffee this morning. Now, I want you guys know, to know too that I don't just wake up and have coffee right away. <laughs> I enjoy coffee because I love the, the taste of coffee. I know I've shared that with you guys before. When I wake up in the morning, I have a full, like it's probably about 16 ounces of, of water first. That's the first thing that I drink in the mornings. Um, and then this is really my first cup of coffee and it's probably gonna be my only one because I've been drinking a lot of tea during the day too, so. <laughs> All right, anyway. It was such a beautiful evening last night. Did you guys see how gorgeous the moon was? I was like, wow. You know, my husband and I were um, were actually watching a Passover movie last night. And when it was done and we were about ready to go to bed, you know, I happened to see the light shining through our windows. And I looked outside and it was a beautiful moon. It was just gorgeous. It was awesome. And I actually did, was able to... to capture a nice little picture of it and I did post it you know in my in my personal page Kellen Trapp personal page so yeah it was it was just so gorgeous and it's just uh, another reminder of God's beautiful creation so <laughs> all right guys so before we start I would like to start off with a prayer so um, thank you Heavenly Father again for for this opportunity for us to meet this morning to be in your word and to just see the beautiful creation that we see every single day, Lord. Lord, help us to enjoy the simple things of life, the simple things that you've created for our enjoyment as well as your glory. Help us to refresh our souls and to quiet our spirits as we listen and we're still and we hear your voice. And just enjoying the opportunity of just your glory, your word, your love, your beautiful creation. That is something that you give us every single day that we take advantage of and don't, don't realize or don't notice. Lord, I can't wait to see how you will open up everyone's hearts this morning. And thank you again, Lord, for the opportunity to be here with you. And I pray to you in Jesus' glorious name, amen and amen. All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So again, we're going to be talking about new creation, new life. Yes, new life because spring brings new life, doesn't it? So we're going to be reading from the book of Revelation chapter 4 and it's um, short and sweet. It's going to be verse 11. So again, that's the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 if you'd like to join me. Okay, you are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. And <clears throat> our love letter. Beloved daughters or sons, I created all things, even you, for my pleasure. I know there are a lot of bad things happening in the world around you, 
but there's a bigger picture than the one that you can see right now. I love how, as I've been sharing these devotions with you guys, and I really do not know until the morning, you know, as I'm praying and, and waking up and just giving God praises, really, I really don't know what he wants me to share with you until then. And it just amazes me that these devotions that are, that are created in this Bible are just fitting so perfectly with what is going on today, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing to me. God just amazes me every day. And I know I say that a lot, but he does. He amazes me so much every day. There is a bigger picture than the one that you are seeing right now. Let me paint it for you so that you don't miss the things that I have created for you to enjoy and to be refreshed by. Every morning I wake you with a beautiful sunrise to signal a brand new day. And yes, he does. Of course, we don't have a sunrise this morning because it's raining. <laughs> but every evening when the sun dips below the horizon, I kiss you goodnight. I've placed flowers in the fields to color your world. And that's so true. Right now we're just seeing so much new life, so many beautiful flowers that are blooming. All the birds, I love, I love seeing the birds and how they're just all fluttering and playing with each other and you know getting ready for, for, for new birth as well. It's just it's just new life everywhere. So I have placed flowers in the fields to color your world and provide a sweet fragrance throughout your day. I know these things seem simple, but I created them for my glory. Take a moment each day to reflect on and enjoy my beautiful creation, my beloved daughters and sons. Love your heavenly Father. Life gives us a lot of things to be concerned about. If we're not careful, we will just live every day in our own little worlds and miss that moment that God created for us to enjoy. After every storm, he gives us the smell of rain. At the end of every day, he gives us the sunset to say good night. The sunrise reminds us that each day is a brand new day. Appreciate the beautiful and good things in God's creation and let them connect you to God's heart. When we look at creation, we see our master creator, don't we? Yes. Yes, Abba, I belong to you and you are my master creator. He is the creator of all things. Spring is a time for new life, right? A new life for all of us during this season. We've all been pruned. We've all been pruned and now he's making a new creation happen among all of us right now, not just out there among all of us right now. So reflect on that, guys. Reflect on that. I hope that this was enjoyable to you guys. Again, I love being with you guys every single morning, Monday through Friday, and having my morning cup with you. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your cup of coffee or tea as well. I love you guys, and I can't wait to be with all of you and be able to just hug you and give you kisses my brothers and sisters I definitely miss all of you but I hope that you are having a blessed holy week and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow morning and go out there and be a blessing to someone else because you do not know what they are going through be a blessing to someone today I wish you many many blessings today for the rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow morning kisses to all of you see you again soon bye